Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make an envelope style cushion. The cushion pad I've got here is just a basic cushion pad from Ikea and it's 14 inches by 14 inches. So to make this envelope style cushion, you need three pieces of fabric. So for my front, I've cut my front an inch bigger on both sides. So this is 15 inches across by 15 inches deep. And I've done a bit of a plique on it already. You could leave yours plain or you could do it in fab, um, pattern fabric, whatever you like. But just to save time, I've done some applique on mine already. Okay, so the next two pieces now are going to be the back. And basically, it's just going to line up like so. And it's going to overlap here. And when you sew it, this will be open and this will be where you put your cushion. Now, the way that I determine the size of these is I half the size of my main fabric. So this is 15. So half of 15 is seven and a half. And then I add two and a half inches, which becomes 10. So these two pieces are cut at 15 inches by 10. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn a half inch seam allowance on the long side, on one long side of both these pieces. And I'm going to overlock this edge and this edge and then turn it over half an inch. But if you don't have an overlocker, you could either cut this with pinking shears or use a zigzag stitch all the way along and then turn your half an inch. Or if you get one of these or if you have one of these sewing and knitting gauge, if you set this to half an inch and then butt it up to the edge, like so and make a mark and do that in several places all the way along you then fold this raw edge to that mark which will give you a quarter inch and then you fold it over again and sew it which will give you a half inch seam allowance so i'm just going to take these two pieces to the overlocker and overlocker overlock them and then i'll be back okay so i've overlocked this long edge and I'm just turning it in by half an inch and I'm just going to sew this down just so it's got a nice clean edge with a straight stitch. So that's how that's looking now. So I'll just show you again. So there's my overlocked edge. I'm just going to fold it in a half an inch and sew a straight stitch down there. Okay, so they're both done now. So we're going to assemble the cushion and it really is as simple as this. So you want your front face up. So whatever your pattern is, have your pattern face up. Then you need to get one of your backs and you want that face down. So in other words, they're right sides together. And your raw edge needs to be at the top and at the bottom. So the, air, the, he, the edge where you turn the hem needs to be more to the center of your cushion. So you're going to put that one to there, face down, and this one right sides down again. So right sides together with raw edges to raw edges and the fold or the hem towards the middle. So does that make sense? So I'll just recap. So right side up on your front, one of your pieces for your back, right side down, raw edges together on the outside with the hem, the sewn hem towards the middle and then the same on the opposite end. So right sides down, raw edges together and the hem there. And then the way I like to do mine is either pin or clip. I'm just gonna clip it for speed. And because you've got some bulk, extra bulk here, I like to put my clips where these seams are because I'm going to go backwards and forwards over there 
and this bit underneath I'm going to go backwards and forwards under here as well. I'm going to put another clip on this side and look for where this seam is here and put a clip there and really this is more a reminder to me so that when I start sewing round I know when I get to this clip I've got to go backwards and forwards and then I carry on and when I get here I'm going to go backwards and forwards and then continue do the same here backwards and forwards straight backwards and forwards and all the way around because these sections here which form your this is why it's called an envelope cushion because they overlap these will take the strain when you're taking your cushion pad in and out of your cover so if you make sure you back tack there and there as well it will hopefully hold it all together so basically what i'm going to do now i'm going to start at the top sew down back tack sew down back tack and go all the way around so I'm using a straight stitch on my machine and I'm just going to follow the edge with the edge of my presser foot. Go backwards here, then forwards. Same when I get here, backwards and forwards. Stop when I get about half an inch from the corner. Make sure my needle is down. I can just do an extra little bit actually there. And turn and carry on. <laughs> 